Hey, what's up, guys? This is your PC software. I'm going to give you a tutorial slash review of Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. All right, so when you first open it, you're not going to have any um. Whoops. All right, so you're not going to have any uh operating systems here, but you're, so you're going to have to create a new one, and you're also going to have to have the CD like I do. All right, so uh, I'm just going to show you how it runs. Actually, I'll show you the settings first. You can um, rename the virtual PC at any time. You can set the memory to how much you want to have it. I don't know if, if it'll be able to run at 1250 MB because I only have 2 gigs. And since I'm recording right now, it might be a little too much, so I'll put 512. Alright, so uh, here's where your hard disk file is at. If you ever move it, or if you ever want to move it, you just relocate it right there. Um, networking. For some reason, I had to set I had to set four adapters just to get my internet to work on this. So, uh, if you ever have that problem, just go ahead and do what I did. Sound, enable, and that's pretty much it. All right. So when you first start it up, you're gonna get a DOS prompt. It's not gonna have a real uh, GUI until you actually boot into the operating system like right around here <clears throat> sorry about that and it actually um lags or mine lags while playing videos so uh... it's perfect if you're not playing videos but on different browsers um, played videos differently like um, I tried Safari. It didn't it, the video didn't didn't lag as much, but um, when I tried Internet Explorer, it lagged a lot, and Firefox lagged a lot too. This it's gonna take a long time to boot since you're not giving it full advantage of your RAM, so you're gonna have to bear with it. And while this is booting, you should uh, go click that yellow button right in the sidebar if you like my videos. I'll get back to you when it's done booting. Alright, so it's done booting. As you can see, here it actually... Uh, Get you the log on screen, just click OK and you're gonna log on to it. I'm gonna go into full screen for you. Alright. So my virtual machine is Windows XP. I should have told you that before, but you could probably see by the uh, home screen a virtual PC. I'm trying to figure out why it won't let me right click in here. Maybe because it wasn't loaded. properties I'm just gonna change the video settings so I can actually go full screen and show you guys how laggy it is uh, settings should be the third one right here apply yes okay full screen alright alright so here it is <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it that well on full screen because I can't I can't really tell so I'm gonna have to see how it looks in the actual video while I'm editing it. Editing it. Okay, so I'm opening up internet right now. I am telling you, this is lag fest. Holy! I don't even have that many programs installed on it. I gave it a like a, I think a 35 gigabyte um, hard drive. And um, Windows XP says it's fine to run on 512 MB of RAM, so I don't know what's up. All right, so uh, getting these balloons down there. Holy shit! Fuck off! Damn it!
Okay, so internet finally opened. I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'll show you. Pick any random video. I'm gonna show you how laggy it is because it's pretty laggy. Michael Jackson respect. How about that? Because we all love Michael Jackson. Yeah, see right there, it's so laggy. Alright, so, um, may X out a full screen here. So that's, um, how it actually runs. And I'll show you how to create a new one. All you gotta do is click new, and when that pops open, just click next. Uh, you want to check the bubble that says create a virtual machine. Um, and then you want then you're gonna want to name it. So say you are trying to install uh, Vista. Just type in uh, Windows Vista. Windows Vista. All right, and then click next. And then on this drop down box, you're going to want to select the operating system that you're going to install. And if you're installing like Linux or something, Ubuntu, you're just going to click other. And since we're pretending to install Vista, let's click next. And you're going to want to um, adjust the RAM because Vista uses a lot of RAM, like a gig. Next. And you're going to, um, on this screen, you're going to want to do a new virtual hard disk and then click next. You can just leave it at that, but this is where you're going to want to change the hard disk space. I, us I usually give my virtual machines 20 gigabytes because uh, if it gets too big, it, well, it doesn't actually, you don't actually lose 20 gigs right away. It eventually fills up if you're going to use the hard drive. And just click finish. And then you're going to want to start it and... One second here. You don't want to start it like that. Go to CD and capture ISO if you have the ISO to the, uh, if you actually have the ISO. And if you have the CD, you're going to want to um, floppy, capture floppy. Alright. I'm just going to turn it off because I'm not going to use it. Remove. Yes. Alright, so that was my review slash tutorial on Windows I mean, Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to download it. Make sure you subscribe to my videos if you like them. And rate and comment this one. Peace.